it's Christine here to show you the data page. The data page is more commonly referred to as the scorecard, but we have named it data, the second one over here on the left-hand side, because we not only have weekly measurables, but also the ability to track things on a monthly basis. So you can do each of those in here. You can toggle between each of those tabs just by clicking on them. And really things work the same way across each one. Um, so you can see we've got our measurables listed here, who owns them, the title, the goal that we've set up. And to create a new measurable, you would use this plus sign and then say create and add new measurable. So this adds a new one, um, allows you to create a title. So let's just add a new one right now. Set up a description. The goal can be number, percentage, or dollar based. And then this will just be a plain text number. So don't worry about putting in any commas or anything like that. It'll auto format for you. Finally, you can set up, should it be inside a min or max, um, less than, equal to. So it just lets you select what is measuring success for that specific goal. And this goal should be, you know, we're creating a monthly measurable. So what are you trying to hit every single month? Um, you can also set up who owns this item. So this will be a list of people in your account. And you can also select an owner from this top option here. It just pulls up a different menu where you can actually look at the accountability chart seats and decide who should own it based on the seat that they're sitting in. So once you've got this all set up, you can leave the owner blank. So if I don't want there to be an owner right now, I can create the measurable. We'll see it go to the bottom of our list here. Um, and if you ever want to rearrange these, you always have an owner and title sort, and then you can also drag and drop on these items. To enter values, it automatically saves. So you can type, um, you'll see a quick notification down here that it has saved. And you can see it'll go, it'll turn red and green on these numbers based on if you're hitting the goal that you've set up here. If you'd like to add an existing measurable to the account, so instead of creating a brand new one like we just did, but maybe you have one that already exists on another scorecard, uh, maybe it's just living on your VTO right now and you wanna pull it in to track it here. That's what the add existing measurables button does is it pulls in all the items that you have in your account that don't get listed on the scorecard. So we didn't see anything on this list because all the measurables in the account exist on this scorecard, but maybe we wanna to go to a different team. So maybe we wanna look at the marketing monthly scorecard. Um, so this would be a good opportunity to say, hey, you know, maybe instead of just tracking new leads on the leadership team, we also wanna see this value on the marketing one as well. And so it just pulls in the numbers. Um, so when you enter a number in one place, it'll get represented across the board. So meaning, we already had values entered for new leads. We can enter other values here and it'll get saved not only on this scorecard, but wherever that measurable lives. So again, just quickly toggle between scorecards using the teams drop down, and measurables can live on multiple teams and you would put them there just through that add existing measurable function. If we go take a look at weekly, it's set up the same way. Um, the only difference you'll find is that we have our number of weeks up at the top here instead of the months and it's set up the same way where the most current is at the front so we have our current week right here and then we are going backwards for our most recent 13 weeks and if you'd like to adjust the number of weeks that you're looking at you can do this through this drop down same thing with the months for each item, if you want to go in and edit anything about what we created on here, you would click on it and then you can go in and change the title, add a description. A lot of people will put descriptions and actually link to, you know, maybe where they're tracking the item. Um, so like we are, we're tracking a couple things and I've created filters and that way I can just click on the link and go view the number that I want to enter on the scorecard. So that just makes it easy to understand where that number is coming from or how it's being calculated. And then in the target information section, feel free to change the goal, add new owners whenever you need to. And then the final option up here at the top, this more actions button, you'll see this across rocks, to do's, issues, really everything in the system where you can click on this and turn things into issues. So when you do that, it pulls in some information from the item. So last three weeks of data, what the goal is, um, the title. So if you wanna say, all right, who is going to address this issue with the group. You can assign the owner. You can decide if it's going to be a short-term or a long-term issue. 
short term being what you guys talk about in your level 10 meetings, long term being what's on your VTO. Um, then you can just quickly verify it's on the team that you want to go on to and save it. And now that issue is on our issues list. And a quick shortcut, instead of opening the details to the right hand side, you can just quickly right click on here and it'll open up the same menu and allow you to select that option from here as well. So same function, make it an issue. And then if you did wanna quickly sort things as opposed to the drag and drop or clicking on the owner or title fields, you also have that option when you do the move to top or bottom of the list there. And, as far as exporting these items, you have a PDF export up here at the top. You can also bring things into an Excel sheet if you'd like to. Um, and remember, that's just gonna export your current information that you're looking at. So if you wanna see more, you can scroll down and you can view all of your data that you've ever entered, um, or you can switch the team in order to control what you're gonna be looking at in the PDF or Excel version there. And the final thing is just a, a couple custom fields that we have. Um, so being able to turn on this average column, you could activate a totals column. Um, you can change the day of the week that you'd like to start your measurables on. So if you don't want this to be represented as like a typical Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Saturday, um, you can start at midweek. Um, like a Wednesday or Thursday if you need to. And then we also have color coding over here, and that's all gonna be controlled in the settings page. So if I come down here, um, this settings icon is visible to anybody that's a manager role, admin, or owner, and they're gonna be able to go over to the configuration page within settings and turn on those couple custom fields. Um, the average column, the total column, easily explained. Um, those are just the averages and totals of the number of weeks that you're looking at. So you'll see them change as you change the number of weeks that you're looking at. And then this one right here, you can just hover over the question mark to get more details. This we refer to as the color indicator. And so it changes green, yellow, and red based on the last three weeks of data. So green means you've been on track for three weeks, yellow means you've maybe missed one or two, and red is you've missed all three. So if we see we change this back to an on-track goal, now we have three good weeks in a row and our measurable's green. And a lot of times people just use that to indicate if they'd like to turn things into issues right away. So we can see complaints here is off track, maybe we wanna turn it into an issue and it just kind of opens up some more discussion points if you have that status color indicator turned on. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a chat, um, shoot us a message, we're happy to help um, and good luck building out your scorecard, thanks.